London, September 8, 1944. Without warning, a thunderous explosion ripped through the streets of Chiswick. There were no sirens, no aircraft overhead, just devastation. It was the first time in history a city had been struck by a supersonic ballistic missile, the V-2 rocket, Adolf Hitler's so-called vengeance weapon. Designed by German engineer Werner von Braun, the V-2, for Geltungswaffe 2, was 14 meters tall, 12.5 tons heavy, and could travel at 3,500 miles per hour, faster than sound. Launched from hidden bases across occupied Europe, the rocket struck London, Antwerp and Liège, killing around 9,000 civilians. Dollars. Each missile rose into the stratosphere, then plunged at nearly the speed of a bullet, leaving no time to react. But its greatest victims weren't only on the ground. In the underground Mittelwerk facility, over 12,000 prisoners died building these weapons under brutal Nazi labor conditions. The V-2 was Hitler's final hope a technological masterpiece, yet a humanitarian disaster. Though it failed to change the outcome of the war, the V-2 changed history forever. Its creators were later taken by both the United States and the Soviet Union, giving birth to the Cold War space race. From a weapon of vengeance to the dawn of space exploration, the V-2 remains a chilling reminder that every leap in technology comes at a human cost.